Hey guys, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, we've been doing something called this alert from the beginning. Now this is not what you'll be seeing all the developers or programmers doing. It'll be very hard if you find some programmer or developer try to do this in JavaScript to see the output or result in order to test or debug. Now there's one way that all the programmers and developer check for it. That is called as console.log. Now this is one of the most used debugging method in JavaScript programming. Now how to use this? Well it's pretty much close to alert but we're gonna see this in the console area where the errors have been displayed in your browser. So let's actually print something like this is the console. Now I go to my Google Chrome, refresh the page, or go to inspect and see the console. You can see this is the console in here. Let me actually, no, yeah, now I think uh, it is much more easier for you to see. Now see this, this is the console. So this is what happens. If you use console.log, then you'll be getting the results like this. Now let me actually go back to my code and use my variables alert underscore number refresh it you can see that the 8 is coming. Now console can also be used by you know by developers or programmers to debug on the fly. You don't have to write some code in your program or else in your HTML file in order to see the result there. So if you have any doubts like I want to know what is the actual value of alert underscore number then I can directly call that in here. I can also do calculations or any kind of JavaScript code in the console part itself. So minus 2 will give me 6 but it will not affect the value. See there? But yeah, alert number is equal to alert underscore number minus 2 at 6. Now if I call alert number, it will affect the value. Now console is nothing but uh, you know, a developer console which uh, gives an option for you to test out your code without writing them. Just test it out directly in here and make changes or you know, even the HTML changes can be made in here. So if I want to change the head tag in here, the value in here, series yeah see that changes coming in here so this is something that you can do with uh, Chrome, Firefox and even with Internet Explorer but the Internet Explorer method is a bit more tedious so something that I don't use most of the time you, it's very hard to find me using Internet Explorer but you still have to cover it you know that is also a browser. It thinks itself as a browser though. Well, that's the end of this video guys. It's a very short video. What we have seen is how to print out using console.log instead of the alert function. So what you can do is that you just have to write console.log and then the value that you want to print out. Now this will not affect the user in case you forget, you know, you, you return something like alert of these value and you forgot to delete it from your actual program then it will not affect you know this console.log will not affect the user because it will be on the console but if it is the alert message then it will pop up for your user which might be a very bad thing not might be it's a very bad thing so if it goes into production you are in a big mess now if you're working for some corporate company and a corporate company releases the version or also releases the update which has this alert function inside the website and some user or some customer sees that okay the pop-up comes in saying some debug terms then you are in a big trouble sometimes even might get you kicked out of the office so console.log is much more safer because most of the customers are normal users who doesn't know about developer tools in Chrome or Firefox who doesn't know how to access it so you won't be getting into trouble and of course it's not going to affect the user experience so there's no problem so try to use console.log instead of alert 
the reason why I started out with alert is that for a newcomer who doesn't know about JavaScript or anything about JavaScript then that is the best way to actually show it but now you know about JavaScript it's time to go deeper become an actual developer or a programmer who knows how to test who knows how to debug who knows how to see some values without affecting the page or else affecting the user or user experience well, let's see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and also subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video with your friends or anyone you think will be benefited by this video. And also, if you have any kind of comments, suggestions, feedbacks, or issues, please feel free to comments, you know, do the comments in the comment section. And you can also contact me through the Facebook page, Google Plus page, or the Twitter feed. You can find the links for them in the description section. Well, that's in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please keep following the series.